Consider supporting Angel Nightmare on Patreon for just a dollar a month to keep this content uncensored and unfiltered. Link below in the description. Uh-oh. We're about to hit that quadruple seven. Go ahead and hit that uh, subscribe button. I'll wait. Damn it. Greetings, beautiful creatures. My name is Angel Nightmare, and today is the first episode of the Friday Nightmare Show. This is a show, essentially, where I'll be talking announcements and talking about videos that I release throughout the week. And this is also where you and I get to go back and forth and I get to review your comments and respond to them here on this show. As this show progresses, I have a lot more crazy ideas and plans that I simply do not have the time for or the money right now. And for the first segment of the show, we're just going to go ahead and get the announcements out of the way. First, I just want to address all the new subscribers that has came in in the last two, three months. Actually, I want to say even that longer than that because I haven't really been producing a lot of content ever since I started school. I just want to say welcome and I'm sorry for not producing content after you subscribe. For those you don't know, my name is Angel. Um, I'm a musician. I like to write music, produce beats. I do makeup. I paint. My goals in life is to produce music for movies and video games. And I also want to set an example for people that they can do whatever they want and be whatever they want and express themselves however they want to do that without any fear. I started doing YouTube because I post a lot of crazy avant-garde makeup looks on Instagram and Facebook, and people always ask me about tutorials of how I do certain looks. And the way that I do makeup isn't really conventional because I never went to school and I actually experiment a lot. So I do a lot of things that are wrong. So for the longest time, I didn't make a makeup channel and when I did I was really self-conscious because all the makeup channels that are on YouTube are very serious and and like the comment sections like quick to like put people down if they're not doing a certain thing a certain way and that kind of really scared me and stopped me from doing makeup videos for the longest time and then I found that I'm just gonna do makeup and show people what they want to see and I started doing that and I've gotten a lot of attention mainly for my makeup videos. I also like video games and I collect video games as you can see back there. Um, and that's, that's pretty much it about me. Once again, for the new subscribers, thank you so much. It means a lot to me that you want to keep up with what I'm doing here on this channel. The next thing I wanted to announce was I have a new schedule now, or I'm going to try to stick to the schedule to 2018, but it's going to be really hard to me. And I'll talk about that a little bit more in a second, Monday through Thursday at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, I will be posting a makeup video and it will be most of the time it'll be avant-garde stuff that I just come up with out the fly. Some of it will be like conventional normal stuff, which I really don't want to do a lot of on this channel. And then more of it will probably be like cosplays or like my own versions of like stuff like I planned on like doing looks based off of like like brands and um just random characters and color schemes and stuff like that. And you'll see more of that. Fridays, 6 p.m. Pacific time. What's that? 9 Eastern? I think that's 9 Eastern time. Um, I'll be doing this show, the Friday Nightmare Show. As the show progresses, the production quality will go up. I plan to have like a little short intro and like background music design specifically for this show. And I also plan to have like little transitions and like film my own little commercials for this show as well. But Right now, it's too crazy. Next thing I wanted to talk about was the demonetization glitch. Um, I complained a lot last month. Uh, the videos are deleted now. And I did kind of like upload tests to see if YouTube would continue to demonetize my content. And pretty much what was happening is was every video that I was uploading, no matter what, got demonetized instantly. And I even like, I put like, it even got, it got frustrating because I started putting a lot of extra time into editing and refilming stuff to make sure that I didn't say like, like shit or something like that. And thinking like, okay, those little things are going to make it demonetized. And then I started looking at all of these like other YouTubers, like I'm not going to say any names, but YouTubers that are always constantly being put on trending and stuff like this. And they say and do a lot of crazy things that are like way far worse than anything that I've ever said on this channel. And all of their videos get ads like all the time. And a lot of people, when I was making these videos are saying, oh, you're just into YouTube for the money. And I don't even make 
anything on YouTube. I don't even make enough to pay a bill. I've invested so much time and money into like computer equipment and recording equipment and camera equipment that like it'll probably take me a long ass time to even break even on the amount of money that I've spent on that and not even including the money I've spent on makeup and like all the time that I've dedicated to this channel. After like researching and reviewing all the videos on on demonetization, I found that your views go down and your videos get suppressed in search when your videos get demonetized. Kind of like, I wouldn't say it was like a huge issue for me, but I've noticed that my subscribers started plummeting and my, and my views started plummeting. And, and then when I, when I found out that once your video is demonetized, even if it's re-monetized, there is something in its source codes that prevent it from being recommended as often or put in the sidebar on search or it's just pretty much essentially gets buried in the search and then YouTube puts puts what, what they want people to see out. I reached out to YouTube and I sent them an email telling them that I felt like my channel was being discriminated against because um, I, I don't know if it's because I was an alternative YouTuber or whatever and I told them all, all this time I put in the editing and filming and redoing stuff and videos just keep uh, getting demonetized. The pretty much, if I have the email, I'll post it here but i don't i think i probably deleted it but pretty much what the email just said essentially was um we're sorry that you feel that way um just don't delete videos and re-upload them because they'll still get demonetized and that's pretty much all they told me which really made me mad but after that email i started uploading videos here like letting people know like when i would do a Twitch stream and st like for the first week in two weeks that I was starting to do Twitch, I noticed that those videos are getting demonetized instantly. And then, uh, during the second of second week, second, or I think in the middle of the second week towards the third week, I was getting, um, my videos weren't getting demonetized instantly anymore, which I was like, okay. So I decided that I'm going to continue to try to do YouTube because even if I can't, um build a big audience i still can't let down all the people that have supported me and followed me this far for the past two years so i said 2018 i'm just going to continue making content continue doing what i want to the best of my ability um without trying to bend over backwards too much for youtube another thing too is uh twitch i i created a twitch channel I stream stuff. If you guys want to talk to me one on one, there's a few regulars on here that actually moved over to Twitch, which makes me really happy. And it shows that that you actually support me as me, and not just because I'm on YouTube, which is amazing. So uh, I've been talking to you guys back and forth in Twitch chat when I'm doing stuff. And I know I stopped slowing down doing Twitch, but that's because I started spending more time doing YouTube this past two weeks. And um, I also started school recently, which leads me to my next point. I'm doing the winter semester right now, and if if any of you guys have been to college before, uh, or like you and been to a winter or summer semester, you'll kind of know like how crazy and stressed that I I, I could possibly be. But I'm um, I took two classes because I was like, um, I can do it, I can handle it. Um, but uh, this is really hard. Pretty much what a winter semester is, it's pretty much you're taking like a five month course and cramming it into four weeks. Uh, and for the rest of this month, I am like neck deep in homework and research papers and books to read. I have to read a whole entire chapter a day and then like learn all these vocabulary words before the next day in class and write discussions. And it's, it's a lot like, and literally I'm on like day four of school, day four. And I have, I have already been so neck deep in homework. I'm still going to put time into this channel. But right now, I'm not able to put as much time into my editing and like stuff that I that I want to do for this show and for like fu like vi future videos. But that will come with due time. So the last thing I want to announce that this um if you guys want to meet me in person this month, I am going to be at Anime Impulse on Saturday, which is the, hold on, let me look at my calendar. Uh, Anime Impulse is gonna be on the 13th. I'll probably be doing a lot of like freaky makeup and stuff that I usually do. So if you guys wanna come take pictures with me, hang out, that'll be something cool to do. And I'm also going to be at the SoCal Retro Gaming Expo. The SoCal Retro Gaming Expo is on the 20th. 
Okay, with that being said, that's the end of that segment. Right now, I'm going to read your comments, and then we're going to get into what, uh, like the videos I posted this week. Um, let's pull up the comments. The James LaHood says, do a Sharon Needles makeup. I actually will do that, and I'm going to add that to my list. You're giving me, giving me content ideas. Where's my list at? I have a list. I don't know. Okay, I don't have a list. I lost my list. The next one is by Dizzy Giggleflix. Good username. Says, will you go to the last bad stay at Disneyland? Um, I will actually. Um, it's actually really unfortunate that bad stay is ending. Uh, I actually wanted to do a video on that and I guess I will use this as the opportunity to do so. Bad stay is ending because of the new tax reform here in the US. And I'm gonna pull up the post. This year was actually gonna be the first year that I actually planned on buying tickets and going to bad stay. Um, last year, not last year, the year before last, I went to Bat Stay, uh, Black Market. And because that was literally two days after I had first moved to California. And I actually met a lot of cool people there that I still talk to, uh, to this day. This is a long post and I'll link the post in the description below. So they say, due to the new 2018 tax plan, the struggling economy and ever rising costs, we can no longer run Bat Stay and Fun Park on the grand scale that it has had for the past 15 years. Um, what most people don't realize is that Bass Day is a labor of love. We don't make money on it. I'm not a tax advisor, and I'm not going to go deep into the tax plan, but pretty much from what I know is that the new tax plan does not favor small businesses or individual contractors, which is going to be really hurtful for the economy, especially if you make all of your money on like Etsy or, or YouTube or something like that. From what I heard, I think it's just... You either won't be able to write stuff off on your taxes or you won't be able to write much off of your taxes. I was a Lyft driver for a year uh, last year and I'm not doing that anymore. You have to put a lot of money into maintaining your vehicle and into fuel cost. I couldn't imagine not being able to write all of it off or like only being able to write a portion of it off. And that's just it's just horrible. If you guys want to read this full post, I'll put a link to it. It's really heartbreaking. Autumn Morning says, I love this look. And I love slightly farther away from the mic angel. These videos are seriously fun to watch. Honestly, thank you so much. That means a lot to me and to further away angel. Thank you so much. That means a lot to me. Toxic Greenblood 44 says, I'm glad you're back. Thank you so much. That honestly means a lot to me. I'm glad that you didn't abandon me like everyone else. Which is Bruce Sims says, how are you liking that Fenty foundation? I actually honestly really like it. Um, I'm really happy about the price. I believe it's like a little over $30, which isn't too bad. And a little bit goes a long way with this. Um, what I don't like about it, though, is that it's not full coverage. So unfortunately, it's not my favorite. I do like it. I use it for like going to work uh, or going to school or like when I need to put on makeup really quickly and just go somewhere. Um, it's really good for stuff like that. And I really like that when you put it on, you don't it doesn't feel like anything's on your face. But one thing I don't like about it is it has kind of like a little scent to it, like a perfume type scent. And like when I'm doing like foundation, like around my nose mouth area, it kind of makes me a little queasy on the inside. <laughs> Kayla Sanford says, do a de demonetized look with YouTube crossed out on your forehead. <laughs> I actually will do that. Um, I... A friend of mine has actually ordered a bunch of new makeup colors for me, so I'm actually able to do more for my channel. Um, that's love and support because honestly, I couldn't afford to do anything else new on this channel. Uh, so pretty much the makeup that I have, I'm just going to use it until I run out and can't do videos anymore or until I find a better paying job. If you guys want to support me and help me be able to do more stuff because I want to do stuff with wigs and I want to get more contacts to do different crazy characters and stuff like that and I also want to do prosthetics but I don't have the money for that so if you guys want to help support me in almost every video I post there's links in below showing uh, how you can support me either through Patreon, PayPal donations, uh, buying merch and also you could support my albums by buying them on Bandcamp, iTunes or Spotify which are also in the link below so if you guys ever feel like you guys want to support me, a dollar a month on Patreon would be amazing. Gravorg Gavorgian says demonetize zombie. And that's actually funny because 
this video actually got demonetized. So <laughs> I'm gonna pin this comment to the top of this because that's that's literally the truth. Um, and just to show you a little bit of comparison, the video that also got demonetized this week also got the least amount of views and the least amount of reach. The Psycho Doll says, OMG baby, why don't you have more damn views? I demand more views. So do I. <laughs> if you guys want more views, I'm gonna need you to send this to your grandma, to your uncle, to your auntie, to your pet dog's grandma's sister's cousin. I'm also gonna need you to post this on Reddit, Twitter, YouTube, 4chan, maybe not 4chan, I'm probably not ready for the trolls yet, but spread this throughout the world. Let your ch children know, let your, your, your children's parents, grandparents, sons, daughters know. Let them all know. We, me and Psycho Doll are on the same page. We need more damn views. Jamber G says, that's pretty creative. If they demonetize you again, I will have YouTube arrested. Well, it's about time to pull out those handcuffs because YouTube, we coming for you. Me and Jamber G, we a team. 83 Keisha says, your hands look particularly dainty with red polish. Sexy. Demonetized. Batched FG Doyle says, Dear YouTube, please stop demonetizing my favorite YouTubers. Okay, thanks. Little Lamb says, Angel, can you do a plug showcase? I love the ones you have in this video. And I'm assuming she's talking about these video, this, this, she, he, they. I'm assuming that Little Lamb is talking about these plugs right here. Um, I'll do a plug showcase. I don't have a lot of different ones and I actually downsized because I was at an inch uh, last year, but my ears got like really swollen uh, one day and I just had to take them out and let them heal. And I don't, it's, it was just like a whole ordeal. So I'm at a seven eighths again and um, plan on stretching up back to an inch soon. So pretty much everything in this bag um, has been in my body at one point in my life. And I've actually have more stuff than this, but I'm uh, just moving so much and I just can't find anything. But this is what I have. Um, these are slightly larger than an inch. Uh, this is what I was going to stretch up to that I never ever made it to here. Um, I just got those at Spencer's because they were like cheap. Uh, these are the inch plugs that I usually wear or usually used to wear, which as you can see, it's a little bit bigger than my ear now. And this is the size I'm gonna stretch back up to. Um, obviously these are the ones in my ear they were talking about and I actually had I don't know if you guys can see but I have a second ear here and if I can find a picture I'll post a picture I'll post a picture here and I used to have both of these stretched but I let this one close up because I believe it was the acrylic ones that were like making my ears like swell up and stuff so I just gave that up and let them close all the way up down to a I believe this is a 16 now we got just some regular organic ebony wood these rubber silicone ones which i don't recommend getting these somebody just gave these to me um as a gift so i kept them i think i, I think i wore them in like a couple photos these are just plain white tunnels little ones that i had in my second hole these are pink and then i have some black ones and i have different sizes that i've had this is just o-rings for like the back of some plugs. Let's see what else we got. Had these red ones and I actually lost the other one. Somebody gifted these to me too in Mississippi. Um, but what happened is I got really drunk one night after Bar Sinister and uh, I threw up all in the toilet and then one of my plugs fell out and it landed in the toilet with my vomit. So I just looked at it drunk as hell like, damn, that shit gone forever and then flush the toilet and that was it. These were like some that I used to like stretch up. As you can see, it has like the uh, self adhering like plumber's tape on it. So it wouldn't leave any like heats of residue in your ears. There's a bunch of like small like plugs and nose rings and lip rings and captive beads and stuff like that. I have like these regular earrings. Um, shoot and a necklace apparently i have these spirals i used to love wearing these in my second hole 
Uh, fuck, I'm dropping shit everywhere. But these, I used to wear these in my second hole. And I don't know if you can see, but there's that. I used to wear it, so I used to wear them like that. But now these got annoying though, because after I got dreads, my dreads were always snagging them. So I kind of just gave those up. Um, this necklace somebody got gave to me. Uh, on my birthday one year at Das Bunker. Uh, there's that. I had these music notes. A little bat vampire teeth. I have this clear taper back from middle school. Oh, not middle school. High school. This is a long time ago. Then I have some filled with blood that somebody at my old job, a uh, really old nice lady, uh, got this for me. But they're like blood-filled plugs, which is really cool. I believe these are an inch. So, yeah, these are an inch. Yeah, but I used to, I used to love wearing those. I'm going to start wearing those like in some pictures and photo shoots and stuff at some shows. Then I have some... Some glass ones are the spiral ones. I really love how the spiral ones look uh, a lot. And I'll probably wear them more when I do looks with my hair up. I got like these glass ones that kind of look like amber. Got like this. This is like, it looks black, but this is like a dark red kind of stone, kind of marble stone look. It's got like some gray like marble designs. Then I have like these small ones like from like forever ago. Uh, then some more glass ones. These are supposed to be like opal, but they're just like glass with little cheetah print one that I like never wore. I don't think I've ever worn those. Then some more glass ones. I used to wear glass ones a lot. Glass is like really easy, like one of the most sanitary things that you can have. They're really easy to clean, even with sex toys. So like glass is a lot, lot easier to clean. Okay, so my memory card is full, which means I'm going to end this video. I have to switch memory cards and it's not because that I don't have enough space, but that means I have a lot of video to edit and I have to release this video today. Um, this is one more glass one. I'm just going to show you that. And before the video ends, oh, actually, no, I have one more I'm going to show you now and that are these, which are really cool. I used to love these. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing to my content and commenting and just interacting with me. If you have any suggestions or questions or anything, be sure to leave them in the comment section below and I'll answer them. I just want to do a quick Instagram shout out. I'm going to do this once a week. So uh, if you subscribe to my Instagram, links are always in the description. You have a chance of me shouting you out. I'm going to shout out Sklo... I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right. Skloplay. Um... And the reason why I chose Clopay is because they've been following me for a while and I always see them in the comment section of YouTube. And when I switched over to Twitch, they were one of the first people to engage and kind of like help me create my content while I was streaming on Twitch and, you know, keep me talking uh, by interacting in comments. So shout out to Skoplay. Go follow them on Instagram. And um, I also want to do one more person on Instagram, Stigmata Arts on Instagram. Go give them a follow. They drew this a really amazing photo of me, which really surprised me. If any of you guys have art that you want to draw of me or send me, please send it to me and I can make it a segment on the Friday Nightmare Show where I show off you guys' art. Well, anywho, thank you so much for watching. If you're new, please be sure to subscribe, smack that bell button, and bite that like button, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, uh, okay, I think this is it. Hey, turn up. <laughs>